Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Enemopolis, which is a liminal space horror game where you enter a supposedly empty area and realize you may not be alone. Quick note that I have played a demo of this before, but this is the full release of the game. World's most empty parking lot. Also, our parking angle is wrong. This shouldn't take long, hopefully. The sad billboard. Anime Apolis? Anime! It's true. It's canon. There's a transformer. Let's take a look. Maybe someone needs to audit the last auditor of this spot. Wait a minute. Did somebody tamper with this? I don't know. Why this log up to code? Oh, Whoa! Shit, 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 shit. Swim out pool. <laughs> I so, be dead right now. Where am I? So I think part of the premise of this game was like it's not I'm not sure if it's literally the back rooms. It's like an underground city or something weird. Is anybody here? Or it could be literally the back rooms, I don't know. Hello? Hello? This is not good. Am I stuck down here? Might be able to rewire this access panel. So as I'm playing this, keep your eyes open. Because there might be stuff like in the corner of my eye kind of thing appearing. Maybe I can bridge the gap between here and that balcony. Or maybe you can just dive into the pool. Backwards. Okay. Now I need you to get out of my way. Or I can just hop over this. Who needs an underground pool? Everyone does. That's altered the water flow somewhere. I'm gonna have to force my way out of here. Nobody's run to let me out. Secret? Yeah, I got some tickets. Electronic lock, no access panel. Is there a way to break it? Mm. 
We're in. What are these? Seriously, what are these for? Is anybody here? Nope. Kind of reflection. Hello? I think this is new. I don't remember this in the demo. Looks like lockers to me. I Man, I can open lockers. Not sure there's any point to that yet. Nice showers. Go right. I have a seat. Stairs over here. More stairs. And even more. No, it's an elevator. So if you haven't seen me play the demo, there is a thing in here with you. It's subtle though. I mean, the demo cut off before we could figure out what it was. But since they've altered it from the demo mode, um, I don't know when things will appear. Or where. Nice place. Very relaxed. Ain't no frets here. Please wait for more visitors to arrive for departure. That's a really empty room. That's partially the point, but still. Wait, I, I spent credits to. Huh. I guess that encourages you to explore rather than just blitzing through. Because now there's a collectible. So what's going on here? Conference center. Zero tickets. Going down. It's free. Because the original, like, you went straight to the pools and everything. This one... It looks like the pool's been rearranged, it's been put somewhere else.
big. What is this? I think it's just like an electrical panel or something. Let's go this way. Welcome to the chair dimension. There's only two exact chairs in one location. Well, at least we, um... If you've already seen the demo, we're not retreading on the ground right away. Yeah, I think we're making progress. And by progress, I mean we're lost. But hey, any movement is not technically being lost, it's just advancing in one general direction. So we should go here, this is red. That accomplished nothing. Oh man, you can you hear the like the foot transition? Like, we're stepping on the tile, like, the, the steps are different. I'm all looking mighty the same. So this one singular plant. Damn. Two balconies. Random. No more than one. Here we go. This is our way out, right? Or is this our way in? It feels like we've come out of this elevator before. Surface? Please wait for four elevators. Okay, so you have to go for four stages. It's like Mega Man in a way. And I think you can... You can theoretically revisit it. So we should definitely grab tickets when we see them. Country Club. Forty-five tickets. Okay, so Family Tropical Resort. This was the demo area. Movie theater. That's new. Nice change of pace. So it cost us three tickets to get in here. Ten tickets to get back.
To make a profit, we need to get at least 30 tickets out of this area. Hole one. What the? Is there actually golf? Oh my god. It's kind of weird. Come on. We did it. Well, two. Okay. Trapped here. Can aim it right through there. Okay, we got this lined up really nicely. And by nicely, I mean like we didn't have it lined up nicely lined up at all. All right. Just need to get through here. Hole 16. Got it. Why does I just start running for this? Let's not even do the holes, let's just run through all of them. Let's see how many there are. Hole 19. You're used to seeing green after a while. If we get to the exit, what happens? We're just right here. Going up. That's two lovers down. Hey, tickets. Please wait for more visitors to arrive for departure. So I got 85 tickets. Let's go to the movie feeder area. It's a new area. Going down. It's interesting that they've made the, the demo area. And I'm not sure if it's the full demo area or just part of it. Part of the climax of the game. Because it's the mo I mean, theoretically, you could save up to it. But the more areas you unlock, the more areas you could farm tickets. And the tickets do seem to respawn. They are random respawns. I mean, they, they respawn consistently in the sense that you load the game or a new area. They'll, they'll spawn in, but the spots are in are randomized. 
Except for a few of them. I think a few of them are consistent. So it looks like the game loop. They're trying, like I said, they're trying to force you to explore and kind of take in the sights a bit. Oh boy! Tickets. Um, using the ticket system. And I'm not sh I'm not fully sure if I agree with the ticket system yet. We'll, uh, we'll get into that later. I take the path least traveled. It doesn't really feel like a lifted movie fear. It feels more like And I always hate these things. I haven't seen anyone else around. Because there is supposed to be people or, well, people quotation mark things. Excuse me. Oh boy! Oh, okay, hot wire. Yeah, the, we haven't really encountered this mechanic since the, uh... The, um, opening. Oh man, the dispense. You know what's simply, like, entertaining to me? Like, physics. I mean, like, game physics. Just, like, little things moving, it just feels, like, so satisfying. You know what I mean? Like, looking at water. Water in games can be fun. Was there another one of you? No, it was in the- that was, like, a class display area, right? Push. Guess we're done here. Feels like I'm playing like a like a dead mall series. There is a chance they tone down the um, encounters to do a scale of the game increasing. So then you just load it in. There's like there's like a little frame hiccup right there. anything too off. I think it might have slightly moved. Dunno. This looks promising. Oh man, I love this carpet. 
I'm feeling pretty relaxed, if anything. I'm feeling good about myself. And there goes the frame rate up. I can't make it over this wall. Maybe I can find something to stand on. Do we gotta bring something back? Tickets! Maybe. We'll go back. There was some other area that we didn't look in. Huh. Something we could stand... What's this? What's this over here? What's this? Hello. Hello. Oh man, I could drag the cart. That's next gen. Hey, can you give me a hand? No? Fine. So I guess this will work. Right here. No, drop it. Okay. Then we're gonna do a little hoppity hop. Sweet. You got any money back here? You do! Oh boy! Yeah, we got enough tickets to get into the pool area. We may get enough to get into the pool area and into the gym. Which I think were the only two remaining areas. Locked. Come on. Grab it. Not locked, but really dark. Some interesting atmospheric music you got going on in there. Huh. Whenever the game skips a little bit, I'm like suspicious. Sweet. Managed to arrive just in time. Okay. It feels like I'm on trail for like change. Like, oh man, I got no money. That's my wallet at home. Score. Trees. This is a new area, right? Because we, we went up. Locked. It's 
some motion sickness looking at that thing. So we're getting progressively higher, right? Every time we go into a movie theater, we definitely go up. Claims the accent this way. Huh. Except for the mirror. No. I was trying to see if they were being a little clever about it. Ooh, this one's just green. Tickets, please. All right, we're out of here. Thanks for the show. So we have a lot of tickets. I, I think we actually have more than enough to like just beat the game outright. So we can go the puller. We're in twenty. All right, so let's just go to the uh, pool area. Tickets. Locked. Locked. You gotta hack it open. One way to get it open. Wait, my tickets. Now, one thing they did do, this is what I read. This place makes me feel uncomfortable. Is that they supposedly? Because I think I think I asked about it, or like you saw me do it in the, the demo. They made the slides work. There's really out of a lot of people in mind. I'm away. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah! That was fun. Tickets, please. Ride the uh, lazy river now, or is that still just like? Huh. Let's go.
that's the exit, but this is the entrance. So, we go in from this way first. Maybe there's a way out on the Lazy River. There's never a way out on the Lazy River. Hey, come back. Is it a dead end? I guess it starts here, and then you would go down to the other one. Right? Float me. Float. I wish to be lazy. Damn. This is not where we came in. Maybe it is. Let's take a look. No. But I'm digging this. I wasn't even floating on water, I was just gliding on land. That is a mighty fine slide, I want to get on top of it. Hot take! Okay. There was custom maps on um, Half-Life 1 and 2 that I feel like were, they would be described as liminal space horror by modern standards. Because they, they were they were just like this. Fork, you always go right into the fork. Because right is right. See? I know what I'm doing. Look, we found a rock. I feel like I remember this area. Where did you guys come from? There's a slide again. Huh. Maybe take the left. Wait, no, this is unique. Both these areas are kind of unique. But this one has like a... No, they're actually the same exact area, just from a different perspective. Hold up. Slide. Get up there. Get up there. Okay. Yes! Kind of. Digging that mushroom. I feel like I've been here before. Deja vu. This is new over here. Yeah, the slide doesn't work quite as well in the the open ones. Kind of wants like to launch you off. That one. There we go. 
Yeah, that, that is definitely a uh, properly added feature. But you cannot crawl through the tunnel. So you, you lose posts in that one. Wait, door. Can we? Yep. Whoa, this is a little bit. Nice. I don't know about you, I'm enjoying myself. Okay. I think we gotta pull this in reverse. No. Maybe jump on top of it. I don't think that's where we came in, right? Could be wrong. It has a dark pool. That's where you have to go, but I'm gonna like look over here real quick. Yeah, that's a nice pool. What do you do? You okay? nothing here. Oh. Open that. Gonna be the exit over there. Ain't nobody here. Weird. I 
of what these pulls makes any sense. Make perfect sense, they're pools. They're pulling together water. Nothing there. I don't think I see anyone down in here. Nope. This was some kind of water reservoir. It is dingy in the air. Oh yeah, spamming flush and wasting water. Doors swing on their own. Keep moving. Or just keep wasting water. That's cool too. So I'm just some body like floating things could be like upset. There's someone in here with me. You hear something? Nah. Keep moving. Seriously, keep moving. Uh, I need to leave now. Do you really? There's a shadow on the wall. Darkness approaches. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go this way. I think there's supposed to be a body there. I can't tell, or it's just supposed to be a shadow. Water running. I turn on the water, I can know I've been in the same place before. Your footsteps, right? And you see the approaching darkness. The approaching darkness. Wait this way. You can't go into the light. You shall probably pass after I'm out of here. Something is very wrong. What was that in the locker room?
in an outlet. Let's climb up here. Keep going. Kick that in. Looks like we're in. Uh, I'm not really sure, actually. An empty department store. Go this way. That is maybe not the way. You just did a loop. Uh. We're out. It's a curious area. Well, this would be the exit. Going We're on. out of here. It was a very relaxing day at the pool. And all the elevators have arrived. So we're done. Surface. Please wait for one elevator to arrive. No, there's one left. Oh, there's something way over here. You weren't here before, were you? What is this? Just tell me anything. Descend. The void? bunch of rooms. A bunch of back rooms. Yeah, there's nothing but excess signs everywhere. Let's go this way. At the end, we've already made it. I'm really good at navigating through, like... Generated areas. Going 
up. She's gonna trap me, man. Just can't trap me. I'll always pull out somehow. There's um, a couple more elevators left over here. I don't know if they count or not. The thing said we only need one more elevator. I mean, if you make, if you do the count, it looks kind of even, right? Yeah, I guess we're done. This was a pretty nice place. Later. Sounds kind of like a, you know, thing in the hospital, checking your pulse or whatever. Let me out. Hey. Hey, I'm in this elevator. Settle down. Who? Over here. You know, of all the people who went down there, you're the first person to come back out. Unfortunately, your knowledge of this place is a liability. Wait, what are you talking about? You can't leave just yet. There's a friend of mine still down there. He Wait, what? owes me a few things. Oh, no, no. I'll think about opening this elevator when he's in it too. Dead or alive. Here. Take this. You'll need it. Staff keycard. Going to bottom floor. Ah, I see. Chapter one. Villain voice. Ah, it's a family main game. So I guess that's it for chapter one of anime Opolis. So the pole area is still fairly similar. I think it was like slightly rearranged. That is as good as I remember it. The new areas, golf course area is a little iffy, although it's a little interesting. It's got an interesting gimmick to it, but it's you can tell it's like a, it's just like an in-between zone. The, the conference area and then the basement area are more your traditional like back rooms, kind of a stones like, Empty spaces or like endless hallways. And the, the Dead Mall movie theater zone is, um, well, it's obviously supposed to kind of capture the feeling of the Dead Mall, the movie theater mall. That zone was pretty good. So I like, like I said, the theater and the pool zone, the other ones were more like, all right. I think they did do some tweaking with the pool zone, like the, the shadowy figure doesn't spawn as often. It seems to look a little more rare. And like I said, I, I guess, I think I meant just during my play for that, um, it looks like they made decide to make the pool zone the climax because the pool zone is the strongest area and it has the closest thing to an antagonist in it. I think this game is one of the better takes, like in, as in like it actually gets the concept of the liminal space horror, and they make sure to do the procedurally generated things. You kind of need to do that to get the right feel for like the endless area. I am iffy about the ticket system. And the the fact it's going to be chapter-based, I'm not sure if like two chapters, maybe it's just going to be Anopolis 2, or if it's going to be like multiple ones. I don't know quite know what the plan is here. So on the former, I think the ticket system is in, it's in that funny spot where like I understand you want people to like not just try and blitz through, like they got to like look around at least a little bit. But at the same time, it's, it's both... There's not enough tickets to go around early on. 
Like you're really having to kind of scrounge through or force them to respawn so it gets a weird grind effect. And then once you just hit the movie theater area, for example, like you got so many tickets, it doesn't matter. Like you got plenty of them. So I think you would have just been better off with just like having people naturally explore and just be able to go wherever they want. So it so it's a true freeform experience. Because by ironically kind of gamey gating people, you remove the expansiveness in your head of the area, of the liminal space, as they would call it. I like for for me the liminal spaces aren't scary to me. I, I like I said I find them relaxing, but I do like the the horror style. Like I, I do enjoy it. Just by not being scared of it. But once you've added some gamey aspect to it, and this is actually the problem that a lot of back rooms games have. This is, as far as like capturing the right feel, this is actually one of the best ones. But like a lot of back room horror games have is like they add the gamey parts. And as soon as you kinda add that gamey part you kind of lose something because the whole appeal of the back room, the liminal space, everything is it's just atmosphere, 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 immersion, atmosphere. And as soon as you're a game, then what makes you different than other things? Because plenty of games have dungeons and mazes and stuff in them. And what you can almost describe, especially like older games like the N64 era and PS1 stuff and older PC, due to the limitations of the graphics at the time, they had that, they basically had that feeling already. So now that you've broken out of the confines of being a gamey game, because you're not, there's not necessarily any combat or anything, this or that, there's no expectations of certain things, then I, I don't feel like you need gamey aspects to it. Uh, and the episodic thing or the chapter based thing, that's really dangerous for horror games. I think I've said this in another video. If, unless you're like really a big hit, like you're Freddy, you're, you're Poppy, even then there's a risk. There's, I remember Bendy's later episodes weren't as good as like the first. I feel like, I mean, Poppy Playtime is still going strong, but right now, Five Nights at Freddy's is the only one that was able to maintain that. I mean, but they were sequels, they weren't episodic, right? So it's not quite the same, but Freddy was the only one that really keep that momentum going. Out of like pure episodic chapter-based games, I feel like they always fall flat. People like lose interest at some point if your, your release gap is big enough. And horror is definitely a uh, fad based thing where like this is the in thing at this month for the in thing this year and then there's a new in thing next year or next month so that's so tricky to go with a chapter based format but I understand it I understand you know a developer may want to get the work like bank the work they've got put it out there and then add more but maybe sometimes it's better to hugely lower the scope of what you want to do add a little bit of what you had planned for like later chapters, like trim it down and just make one singular prog that's just a little bit longer. But, you know, I will myself at least play the uh, the next chapter whenever it comes out. I do think the developer has put some effort into making a kind of proper liminal space horror game. I give him a lot of credit for that. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Animeopolis. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.